Hey guys, it's Eric and Dan here with Tools in Action. Uh, we're excited to go over a new ramp that Dan has. Recently he bought a, a mule, and not the kind of mule that Juan Valdez has that rides in the mountains, but an actual Kawasaki mule. So he went ahead and got some ramps uh, so he can pull in the back of pickup trucks. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and let Dan go over these ramps and tell you about them. Okay, uh, basically um, ramps are dangerous, any kind of ramp. So I kind of did a little searching and I found these, uh, this company called Revark, R-E-V-A-R-C. And basically what they have is uh, some of the best ramps on the market. Um, they're aluminum ramps, they hold 2,100 pounds. They're foldable. I believe they're 90 inches long by 64 inches wide, and they have a 29 degree arch, um, which is rare. Most UTV ramps just go straight down, so you're going to have like a 45 degree climb, which is kind of dangerous when you peek out. Um, so these ramps are nice and wide. We'll show you how they fold up and everything. So basically what we're going to do now is we're going to drive the mule up into the bed of the truck and uh, show you how easy it is to get up there. And then what we're going to do is uh, show you a close-up of the ramp. And one thing to know too is like on this system, it's nice because it's got a safety strap on there. So you just hook it right to the back of uh, something on your truck, like preferably your hitch. That way when you're up there, you don't have to worry about them sliding down at all. So this, I do like the feature of that. One thing I do like, honestly, I like the fold-up thing. Because then you can fold them right up, throw them on the side, and you're set to go. Right, and they're real easy to fold up. So let's go ahead and uh, see if Eric's tailgate can hold up on this DOT. <laughs> <laughs> This will hold any UTV, uh, Razors, Rangers, uh, Big Rats, Turks, Mules, Rhinos, whatever UTV you have, these will definitely hold it. Um, you cannot buy a better ramp on the market. There's no better ramp, for sure. I searched and searched and searched, and uh, it was just great. So what we're going to do now is I'll p pull the mule off, and then we'll show you how they fold up. Actually, it's got good welds on it, too. Yeah, it Okay, another thing I like about these ramps is uh, they're really wide. So as you notice there, I didn't have to worry about coming off an edge or anything like that. I mean, they're easy as wide as the tires of the mule, twice as wide as the tires of the mule, maybe even three times. Uh, these are 26 inch, uh, or actually they're 26 uh, Max's big horns. Okay, so now we're going to show you how they fold up. Um, Eric doesn't have a trailer hitch, I don't know why. So we're going to undo that and then we'll show you how they fold up. It's a real simple process. Release the safety harness. And it's as easy as just Eric will just lift it up over. That's it. They're folded. So uh, definitely, definitely nice ramp. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys in close now and kind of show you a little bit. Like Eric was noticing, real nice welds. 2,100 pounds. They're definitely the strongest ramps on the market. And on the end here. Looks like they're dipped in some rubber coating, anti-slip. Got some more welds here. Um, and like Eric was saying, it really gripped well. The ATV had no problem getting up the ramp. Eric, you want to open it one more time and just show them how you open it? So you just place one down, lift up, and put them on. Put them on and then attach the safety. 
strap and you're good to go. Right, and you guys might notice that it looks bent right there. It's actually not. Uh, that's just the design of that gate to allow it to do that fold over procedure. So uh, go ahead and don't forget to check out our sponsor, acmetools.com. And you can go to toolsinaction.com for more reviews. And to uh, check out these ramps, you can go to revarc.com or just Google revarc. R-E-V-A-R-C.